welcome to a C++ tutorial on a calculator. Now this is not going to be like a regular console calculator that I've done in the past with other languages. I'm actually going to be using a lot of primitive string methods for this because we're going to get it onto one line and we're going to create our own split method here. So it might get kind of weird in the wording, but I'll explain it all as it comes and goes. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to create our split method. So we are going to be make a standard vector. Also, I included the vector string in IO stream class. Um, I include the string class because there's a few string um, things that we're going to be using that I don't think come in the standard library. Um, so we're going to be creating a standard vector of string. We are going to be calling our function here. Um, split and our split function is going to take in a standard string and then this string is going to be our user string and then we're also going to take in a character that the um, the uh, method is going to end on or a better word for it is break break on because what's going to happen is it's going to iterate through our string and then it's going to break onto a, on a certain character and then it's going to add both sides into a vector and it's going to return that vector. So let's go down here and actually create it. So standard vector of standard string here called split standard string use string character break on. All right. So the first thing that we are going to need is we are going to have a boolean called hit equal to false. And what hit is going to do is it's going to see if we have hit the character that uh, we want to break on. So if it has hit it, then we're going to jump to the next line. And actually, before this, we're also going to create a standard vector called our just svec for string vector and uh, whoops, uh, standard vector of standard string and this is going to be the vector that we return once the function is done because if it's a function we have to return something and then we are also going to create a string variable called state statement one and we're just going to set that to null for now and we're going to create another one called statement two and what these are going to do, we are going to iterate through our string and we are going to append this one to the first part of the string and then this one to the second part of the string. So how we do that is we say for int i equal to zero while i is less than our u string dot size. And actually we can make this an unsigned int. Unsigned just so we don't lose any memory there. It just warns you if you don't do that. Then i plus plus. And then we can say if our uh, u string dot at i, so if the current iteration is not equal to the break on character, now when you get the current iteration, it gets a character, so we can compare it to a character value. And hit hit is equal to false. So if the current iteration is not the character, and the character has, and the character that you want to break in break on has not been hit yet, then what we want to do is we just want to say statement one plus equals u string at i equal it appends the current iteration. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to say else if u string dot at i is equal to break on. So if it is the character that we want to break on, then what we're going to say is we are going to svec dot pushback statement one. So we are going to add the first statement to the vector because we're done doing it because it's hit the character that it wants to break on. And then we are setting hit equal to true. And now if the uString dot at current iteration is not equal to break sorry about that. It is not equal to break on and hit is equal to true, then what we want to do is we want to say statement two dot oh oops, statement two plus equals I guess you do dot append. I've never tried that, but this is what I use. Plus equals u string dot at at i the current iteration. And then once we're done with our for loop, we just want to say svec dot push back with statement two. I guess you could technically 
put the uh, this down this down here as well, but I just like to keep that up there. And then finally, we want to return our vector just like that. And the next thing that we have to do, now we actually have to implement this function. So what we're going to say is a standard cout, uh, enter a calculation. And then we're just going to say, actually, x to stop. So we're just going to, and it's not actually just going to be x, it's actually going to be any character. So now what we have to do is we're going to create our standard string, um, how about just statement. And then we'll say while our statement is not equal to x, just like that. So it's just going to constantly be running here. We are going to standard c in our statement here, or we sh we should probably put this up here. Uh, standard c in our statement. And then we want our uh, statement, or no, then we want to also create two more variables. We want to do int num1 equal to zero for now. And actually, let's just set this to null so we instantiate it. Int num2 equal to zero for now. So while our statement is not equal to x, then we want to say if str str, this is a contains method. I'm pretty sure it's so, sort of a primitive function. So what this does, it takes in two variables, it takes in a string variable and the character you want to search for, so our statement. If our statement contains a plus sign, then what we want to do, oh, whoops, uh, then you have to convert this to a constant string because it's a primitive variable. Um, and if our, so if our string contains a plus sign, then what we want to do is we want to say our num1 is equal to a toy, which is another primitive function, I'm pretty sure. This will convert it into a, uh, an integer, a toy, and then this is going to take in statement.cstr, just like that. And does it take it in another one? It might take in another one, I'm not sure. I know in some it does, some it doesn't. And then that's equal to a toy statement, or yeah. Or no, uh, we have to split it. So let me just get rid of this for now. Uh, we have to split it, obviously. So it will be split, and our split function took in a string, which will be our statement. And then it also took in a character, which is the one that we're going to break on. And we are going to break on the plus sign. And now we have to convert that dot, can we, is equal, uh, hmm. So our split method, no suitable conversion. Oh, right. Uh, zero dot CSTR because it's returning a vector. So we have to let the compiler know which iteration of the vector that we want to return. And then we can just copy this in for num2. So num2, and then num2 is going to be equal to 1 because the vectors start at 0. So this is going to be the first half, this is going to be the second half. And then we are going to also go up here, we'll create an int called total equal to 0 for now. And we will say that total is equal to num1 plus num2. And then we will standard c out our num1 uh, plus num2 equals our total here. Like that, and then we'll standard C out our total, and then we could just standard end out here. And then after all this, we want to just ask again. So we can test out our function here, see if it works, if we run into any errors at all loading okay so enter a calculation let's do 30 plus 5 30 plus 5 equals 35 alright 10 plus 3 10 plus 3 is 13 let's try one more 5 plus 1 is 6 alright then we just type in x and alright any key so yeah there we go so that works and now all we have to do is we have to add all the other ones so let's just else if it is 
I actually I'm gonna use the insert key for this. If it's subtraction, then we want to subtract. Whoops. Separate on subtract. Separate on subtract here. And then also here. And then copy this. Then if it is multiplication, then we want to multiply here, multiply here, and here, and here. And finally, if it is division, then we want to separate it here, separate it here, divide, and then here. Alright, so now let's run this. So let's do 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Divide uh, 6 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And also, make sure that you do not type in uh, spaces, because if you type in spaces like this, remember we separated it at um, at the character, not at the spaces. So make sure you don't do that. And also, let's just add an exception handler here that will just standard C out invalid backslash n. Just like that. Alright, so it looks like everything seems to work here. 10 times 2 is 20, plus 5. Oh, whoops, I. It goes to 0 by default, I guess. It doesn't have the answer. I guess we could add that, but. Um, yeah, that's about it for what I wanted to show you show you guys. I actually I did not get this from online. I actually spent um, a lot of time trying to come up with this here using things that already existed, doing a bunch of research on string methods. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. I'll leave all the source code in the description and give it a like if you liked it. All right, see you next time. Bye.